Oh, take a look at this, look. Andy Ruffle in full flight, sweeping around the berm. Right, got an interesting story here before we get to the UK, big boys. Sid Salisbury. First of all, Sid is not your real name, is it? No, it's not. It's Mark Salisbury, really. Right. And uh, you're, you're riding a borrowed bike? Yeah, well, uh, like last night at the hotel, uh, the car was broken into and mine and my friend's bike was stolen. So oh. I'm riding a borrowed bike. It's definitely out of order, then, nicking someone's bike. You're riding uh, in your first final now? First final, yeah. I've I've had a bit of bad luck and I haven't been riding that well, like, but uh, I'm going out for revenge today. And I'm unfortunately, gonna... I think by all accounts, the outside line is going to be the hardest. Well, definitely, because you've got a soft line to the first jump, so that's going to slice up a bit, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Finally, are you jumping or riding the first jump? I'm going to jump it. Right, good luck with it. Okay, thanks. It's the Superclass up on the gate, and the man who's just cleaned the track, uh, Andy Ruffle, is on the left-hand side there riding for the white team. Next him, Tony Slater for the green team and Chris Simmons rides for the black team. Alan Woods for the silver team, sensibly keeping his uh, uh, anorak on for a bit longer, as does Pete Middleton for the yellow team. Tim Marsh is next to him, that's the gold team rider who's the European champion, and we've got Trevor Robinson, Big Trev for the red team, and out on the extreme right, Mark City Solby for the blue team. Well, that's it. Uh, they're anxiously getting their pedals What's in the right that? position on the wheel against that gate because they set a big surge for the start of that double couple jump. And City Salisbury made a bad start indeed. They'll go over shoulder to shoulder. It's Middleton who drops it in, in no uncertain terms. But it's March that's gone into the lead. Tim March leads round that second berm, being chased by Andy Ruffle. Heading towards the third berm now. And he slides out. It's March that's gone. And straight into him went Andy Ruffle. Well, Andy Ruffle's up and running. So is Tim March. Oh, and Trevor Robinson's taking it, sitting down. And all sorts of problems there. But it's Alan Woods that's gone clear into the lead. And look who's in second place. Bowl City Salisbury's worked his way through from the back to the front. But out in the lead. Hitting the line for first. It's Alan Woods for the silver team. Mark Salisbury slides into second for the blue team. Chris Simmons third for black. Alan Woods. Good victory there. Although there was a bit of uh, confusion in front. That's right. The track's very tight and you've just got to be quick. The track surface is very loose. If there's a gap, we just got to go for it. How about your start? You get a good start? Not really. I was got a bad start, but I was able to pick off the line to get past people. Right. Some more drama here. Got Trevor Robinson. Trevor, you were involved with that um, pile up there with Tim March. Tell us your story. I was in third place coming round. Tim washed out and he went into him. Then I looked for the gap in between them. So again, I'm just I was coming up on top of the tail top. Somebody caught me again, and I went down. <laughs> A dejected Pete Middleton who fell on the first jump. One race yet to go and the Greens are still out in front with the rest of them evenly spaced, not far behind.